Welcome back to another buy request video from the Garage Bowling Alley. Today's request, Mark Carlson ask how does the A and A2 sense a strike? I've watched videos where I can see the scissors don't engage and grab pins on a strike. Is there some sort of sensor inside the deck to detect standing pins? Well, this all goes back to the detector, which is the brain of the Brunswick pin setter. Talked about it before, love talking about it. I wish I understood it even more. It was really complex. But let me show you real quick kind of how it is and how it functions. This is your detector rod right here. Goes up to your detector, which is the brain of the pin setter. This is your Brunswick detector. This is the brain of the Brunswick pin setter. This is the detector rod where it sits right here. You can see where it has some different functions in here. Uh, things just line up a certain way when you have a strike, standing pin, or out of range cycle. Depends on how high the deck is at exactly 90 degrees. 90 degrees is one fourth of one full cycle. There's 90, 180, 270, 360. You have a 180 stop when the rake is down and back. 90 degrees is right when the deck comes down and is either comes free down on a strike standing pins or an outer range. It comes down to three different levels and that detector rod has a quick thought process mechanically and tells the pin setter if it's a strike, okay, go ahead and sweep everything, cycle, don't run the scissors, but go ahead and cycle the moving deck and do a full long stroke to where the machine comes down all the way down, sets new pins. If it detects standing pins, it says, hey, operate the scissors, do another short stroke so the machine comes down on the short stroke up and back down on the short stroke there's short stroke long stroke and then also the third is an outer range where the deck comes down it's even higher because it's on a standing pin and detector rod says hey got an outer range and do an outer range cycle where it pulls the clutch stops the machine check out our other videos kind of explains a lot more of that in detail but that is how a Brunswick machine detects the difference between a standing pin strike, out of range, whichever is exactly at 90 degrees on first ball that it detects that and will go one of three different directions. But this is what does it. It's right here, this detector rod. Like I say, there's all these gears and everything in here, which is amazing that somebody just did this back in the mid 50s. But that's what controls the Brunswick pin setter mechanically. There's no switches. There's no solenoids. There are, but those are just for like ball lights, things like that. But truly a Brunswick pin setter would run if you plugged in the pin setter motor and nothing else and just cycled the motor, the machine would function just fine. You could bowl a full game on it standing pins, strike cycle, everything would happen with just that motor spin because it's hundred percent mechanical. Well, there you go, Mark. Hope that made sense to you on how a Brunswick pin setter detects the difference between standing pins and a strike and an outer range. Um, it's all mechanical from the detector. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep the request coming. I'm trying to get to them all. I've got a few pages here and requests and try and do them all. Thanks for watching as always. Keep subscribing, keep telling everybody about us. Tune in. We're usually live every Sunday evening and Monday from USA Bowl during league. So see you later.